Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. And that's loud in my eardrums. Hello and welcome back. I don't know why you're here and God knows I don't know why I'm here beyond the fact that, uh, thanks for interrupting me, dude. So, yeah, I actually been trying, I played this actually a few years back and decided, you know what, what the hell, let's play it again for camera. Serena. Yep. One more try. I know yeah, yeah. Pointless. Sure, dude. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? Uh, because you got a water stain on there? On that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting camp. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. <laughs> it was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Mm -hmm. My love. I like the art style for that. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Now, I know this is very narrative driven, so this is probably going to be a complete the guy who snapped for me to do. Our host for her used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Okay. I think that's love. Me. I don't have a lot of okay. the guy who snapped this. Our All right. host that night used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Okay, so my motive movements are literally the furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, we'll fix it. Yeah, true. What's this? I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes a good table can uh, last through anything. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the Let's centerpiece see. of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Yeah, sure, I'm sure, man. So, let's see. What is that on the table? Our dining table. Quite modest, see, how do I get out of the seat? Fix it. Like I said, it's been years since I've been in this thing. Uh, how do I get up? How do I get on uh, my feet? Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ow. Okay, so I am up and now I am able to wander around. Cool. And yes, my only movement is going to be via this. Lovely. So yeah, this is Serena. Oh, hello. I'm I'm sorry. Can we just look at some of these titles? Important here, some unpleasant. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. These are some wild ones, like the things that keep us tired, common sense, and other their lovely fairy tales. Nephilim, the greatest mystery of the I don't know how to pronounce that world. Something Strikes Back, the official hint book. Zombie space dinosaurs from the Somewhere deep ate my family. In her private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. Uh, can I finish? Yeah. 
the St. Christopher School Lockdown, Blind Earth, Pal Pugs Not Drugs, Searching for Dynasty, Ode to Kumquat, Encyclopedia Galactica, Dalmer Folklore, Horton hears some unpleasant truths about himself. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. Okay, what am I doing? Um, okay. Vanishing Town. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. That's a little creepy, dude. Okay, how can I... There we go. Okay, so there we go. There's definitely some other ones on here. The, the Great Underground. One more key card than the last Susie How Space Quest. How Space Quest from my... What the frick? <laughs> Prophesizing... He's so straight, the craziest guy for fortified your liver. And that's why I'm single, a memoir. <laughs> okay. okay. Look around some more. Pictures of a scary bear, storyteller, the grass. <laughs> okay, um, to whoever came up with some of the titles for this, <laughs> this is awesome. Proud, funny, ride, but it's a great <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps in her dresser, or oh something that she liked. <laughs> These are just wild as fuck. I know I should be paying attention to the story, but I'm amazed by this. <laughs> Whoever came up with the idea I name of these? When we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together, is the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Okay. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Why do you have a Necronomicon? Most of the books are mine, but all yeah, of hers are Yeah, I feel like I should really be too. asking that question specifically. Let's see. Interesting. A lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Um... Okay, he keeps, he's not going to shut up until I agree to this whole thing, so, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. How do I get in here? How do I move? I have to have it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Button, button, who's got a button? Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Okay. So. There we go. This is how we do this. I miss her so much. How is it possible? Uh, that that's a strange picture. Uh, I mean, this isn't a bad cabin. That ticking is going to be in the way. We should look around some more. I have to remember her face. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, put that back right now. They got it. Okay. Bed. Oh, here we go. Thingy. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. Okay. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Mm. Mm. What? also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere, nor some of her other personal items. Hmm. Okay. Hers. I used it, too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. 
Why would you put wall-to-wall -wall mirrors in an outhouse? Come on, man. Use some common what, sense here. Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. Oh, my lord. This man does not seem like he's too smart. What's going on here? Uh, that looks like a bottle of pills and some other weird stuff, but okay. Yeah, this. Uh, thing of keys? Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. Does that make it so I can now see her picture? Come here. I could tell plenty of stories about this. Oh my God, to man! Be just honest. I'm surprised it's still in one. Piece. My love. Nope. I still can't see what she looks like, so... Let's see... Hmm... Her paint... Hmm... What's this? Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niab of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm... Blue Eyes... Based on an Irish folk tale. Oh yeah. Former poet O'Sheen goes to Tiernanog. And now I'm thinking of that song. As the land of youth and promise. Yeah. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Okay. Sure. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Mm -hmm. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mm -hmm. mix of doggerel and artistry. Okay. The elemental imagery is evocative. So the dining table was well oh my lord, when come we here. the cabin. You could tell from its appearance oh, that uh, it had been the center. Well, there's her face. I didn't know she was wearing glasses. I we forgot about. We have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Okay, blue eyes, blonde hair. The guy who snapped this, our host that night. Okay, and clearly you're not going to give me anything else. Hmm. It was a different world back then. So, huh. Okay, so we got the, so the photo's no longer blurry. What's this? Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? More like the curious person playing the video game, but sure, let's go with that. Let's see. Oh, man. I stand by that's a strange picture. What a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. Huh. Mm -hmm. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard, but I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. I don't know. I mean, sometimes that can. What was that? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Dude, something is moving around out there. Where Mike, I'm going crazy. It's one of the two. Oh, for frick's sake. That's ridiculous. What do I need to do? It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. And she told me 
the soothing sound of her name. That's a little creepy. What's this? Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusions shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Uh. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical mm -hmm. aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Um, okay. Wait, there's more? And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. A luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Uh, Let the music's the getting creepier. Is that just me? Feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world. Did anyone just hear it. laughter? Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Um... Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you're feeling lost. That got creepy as fuck right there. The thing she said to me in the letter, in our life before things went wrong. Did she ever mean them? Wait. What's gone wrong, dude? What's in here? Money, a watch, nothing I can pick up. Stuff that's there. What's about here? No, that's just more clothes. That all. When she came back that night, I could tell she was furious. I, I did try calming her down. Um, wait, what? Dude, what did you do? I think I'm missing a chunk of the story here. Uh, she looks kind of pissed. It's, it's different. But that just... It can't be different. Yeah, she looks unhappy. Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? My love. Right, get out of there. Okay, so, um... That's not a good thing, so... The clock is chiming. Uh, okay, there's gotta be something here about why she got pissed. What did, did he... have a horrible fight. I just can't recall the reason. Okay. Was it about this? Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. 
Yeah, well, I'll give you that. That's true. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a, a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Why can't you just accept that I want God in my life? Have you any idea how many times he has helped me get through? Of course, you wouldn't know. He was there for me all the times you weren't. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. I don't know, man. I mean, it sounds like you could use it. Funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. Didn't we just comment on this? Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. Does it mean anything that it's next to her Bible? Anyway, it's just some boring plant. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. Unfortunately, uh, plants do have a lot of symbolism and meaning, so uh, whatever that plant is... They say these things are alive. If they are, yeah. it must be a horrible existence. Confined in their own silent, dark world. Ugh. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, yeah, boring to others. What the hell? There's that banging sound again. I'm serious. Is there something going on out here? What the hell? As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Ugh. Am I stuck? How? Get me out of here! Damn it! I want out! Ugh. Could stand to be able to maneuver a little easier here. Ugh. When did we let this window get so gunked up? Well, how long has it freaking been since you two have been here, huh? I still think these are fun. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? In all honesty, that almost sounds like something Marilyn Monroe would say. I let my work destroy my love. The hell? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. Um... Did everything get darker? Sit down. We need to talk. Oh, shit. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. All of this... These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. Whoa, she looks pissed. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. He was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? Uh, wait. I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. What the hell? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. Ugh, this is just keeps getting creepy. It literally looks like it's gotten darker. What the actual hell? What is up with that picture? That is so strange. Um, that's weird. Very weird. This armchair. 
this is where we had that talk. Damn. I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Wow, that's a change of pace. I mean, dude, everybody goes through difficult situations, but still. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. Um. Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn Dude. thing. Dude. You have really done a 180 from how you were a few minutes ago. I mean, like, what the hell, dude? What the fuck? Um... That's, um, a weird stain. It's, it's concerning. God, that's creepy as fuck. Okay. I couldn't care less about the damn thing now. Maybe I should have a look at the contact pages. Her and her damn spice. Well, two can play at that game. Serena thought she was so special. Always trying to make our sex life edgy and exciting. Now Dude, I can see what the hell? Of admitting how bland and boring she really was. I love that this has volume six 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 on it. I want to torture myself trying to remember. I mean, I'll give credit. The artwork for that's pretty good. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad, angry even. Guess I could have thanked that heartless slut at least once whenever she covered up her body. Dude, the fuck? I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time wow. at the hospital. Damn. You two really you have some issues. Even think straight. Basically, you two just went straight to hell, didn't you? She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? Uh, what the hell? How was I supposed to react when she used this anyway? She knew I loved her. It's not like we have to say it over and over again. Yeah, but sometimes it's nice to hear. The smell of this disgusts me. So many lies, so much deceit. She probably left it here just to spite me. I hate her so much. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else, just for a while. But I, I can't even I remember mean, what we are That's normal, about. but. Unless. She was the one who left. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. No, well, that would explain why you're still here. Fuck. Okay. Nothing pokeable here. Dearest, how do I say any of this? Yeah, we already been there. Let's see. No, this isn't like me. I must calm down. If anyone is to be blamed, that's me. 
How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Uh, no, a somewhat long hair, dude. It helps. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm... I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? Ugh, I'm too angry to even care. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. Dude, you have done a complete 180. That incessant noise. I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? Dude, get over it. This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. I want to torture myself trying to remember. I don't know, man. I mean... All the real color faded from it long ago. Hmm? It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. I told her the rug was fine work. Like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? Too upset to even think straight. Dude. Can I? What do I do now? darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? I feel so turned around. I... Hmm? It can't be happening. What can't? No. I can still see, even if the light is going. I'm not turning it on. I hate her so much. All of this ease. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Dude, you have some serious anger issues to work through. She actually threw this at me once. She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. Um, uh, well. I'll torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. Good lord. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, this is all getting... A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did? And all the things she uh, said? Uh, dude, are you bipolar? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon, because I've had enough. I hate her so much. All of this... ease... pathetic... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Go anywhere around here, you have to literally. Oh, yes. Just a bunch of schmaltzy I sit here on the junk. train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think what the hell? it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed. Lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be mm -hmm. enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. That's what she just said. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, and I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? 
they say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to what? say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are. Ouch. And shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even... Now, considering then that love letter she said she didn't know how to... She wasn't good with words. I'm gonna say this. Whoever wrote this, you you're damn good with words, ba past, honey. The winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting book. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Wow, that's, um... Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should just destroy this useless junk, but not even the venom in... Why torture myself? I'm too upset to even think straight. Um, everything looks like it's gotten hazier and darker, and that's, um... I hate her so... All of this... These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all... I couldn't care less about this... Yeah, she looks thing. really pissed. Oh, okay. Her wedding ring or mine? But... What is it doing here? Please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. Yeah, it's probably pretty true, dude. No. no, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm... Yeah, she still looks pissed. So... Did I... Dude, did you commit a murder? Did you do a bad? Oh, oh that always weirds me out. Uh. What the hell? You realize how expensive this was? You call it bad. My God. What is this? It can't. Wait, it isn't. Where did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. What the hell? Those noises sound like more than one person. Who can it be? The police? Are they coming for me? I deserve it, but I think I need to see who it is first. first. There's something about those voices. I must know. The window. That night? The night we had that fight? This is where she told me. What a damn fool I was. Um, wait. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, it couldn't help your damn self. What? We can't risk moving it now. 
The bulldozers are coming any minute. Bio will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Uh, wait. Oh, shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. Wait. Um. No. Oh shit. Not like this. Let me go. Please. Let me go. Oh. Uh, well, dude, technically you're already dead, so yeah. Holy crap. Okay, so that was Serena, and I said I'd played this game before. I had. I actually forgot that's how it ended, and wow. Uh, late to the party, but actors, writers, damn good job, people. Damn good job. Uh, another note. I mean, you kind of got killed, dude, but, uh... Technically, it don't sound like you are actually a good person through her eyes, but who knows? That painting with the three kids in the tub, that still confuses me. Can someone explain that, though? But yeah, while I go, uh, wow. But on that note, I'm going to go... Her name and likeness. Okay, props to Serena Nelson there <laughs> for joining the party. All right, I like that music. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna knock off here. If you would please do the holy trifecta of YouTube down below with a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. All right, we'll just let this take you on home. Okay, see ya.